What is this dude actually? I don't even know what this dude is all about, dude. <laughs> Missing control bar, flame arrow. Come on now, dude. Come on now. Today, for the first time ever, we're gonna take a look into the War of Arnor mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on a patch 1.06. On the map West Mnet, we're gonna try to defeat the forces of the White Hand with the Riddermark faction Rohan, just like in the films. You're in King. Shall ride once more. West Mnet. Okay, so the plan is to get. First of all, two farms and recruit also Mary. Oh, Mary is not actually existing in this faction anymore. That's kind of sad. I like Mary. I like those cheap heroes. We have to change to pick up draft just like from normal game. What is that? I mean, there is a picture missing, by the way. <laughs> I think it's like a beta version, which is still under development. And it might take a while until it's fully finished. And also, this mod is not adding any new faction to the gameplay. Only reworking the existing factions by adding a few heroes and units, I believe. Because as you can see, we have the chance of recruiting uh, Gan Burigan and also Hammer. Okay. Unfortunately, I mean, that's kind of like a big minus. You not being able to recruit uh, Mary will actually hurt the early game from Rohan a lot. But uh, the mods most of the time are actually made for casual players, you know, just to enjoy the single player experience. In a multiplayer game, that would be like a huge handicap to the Rohan faction. Okay, I mean, the units are looking pretty much the same. I think there is no, no like graphical change implemented into this mod. But you can see the movement speed of the peasants. And me, as a player who was playing in the last months only on the patch 2.22, this legit feels for me like a slow motion speed. Like, I get it, peasants are not meant to be fast, but holy quacamole, you know, my grandmother move, move, would move faster when she would live. Alright, so we're gonna make a hero party, yeah, that's the plan, we will actually save up for heroes and try to win with heroes exclusively, I don't know if they actually changed anything about the AI, but normally, as you guys know, the normal beef me one AI is pretty weak. And for that reason, we were always trying to beat seven of them at the same time, because one of them isn't a danger and for that reason we are working on it to make the AI way harder. Indeed, we have a file in our Discord channel, you can download it and implement it into your you know, installation folder and give it a shot to beat any hard army in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Come together my friends. Let's get to this location, let's build one more and sometimes the mods they have like a, um, a rough bug. And one of them is that the AI doesn't know how to recruit the new stuff. And uh, that might also be the case eventually for this AI. We don't know if the AI is going to play or not. But that's the entire premise. You know, when the AI is not working for a mod, it's actually kind of horrible. It's a one v one situation between us and this Uruk. The Uruks are stronger, but we can eventually surround them. And the power of Rohan is we can recruit even more peasants from the farms. Just let's do that. But in the meantime, we will also more farms for more eco. The base is looking pretty much the same. The expansions are pretty much the same. They have the same price too. 800 for the banner, 800 for the tower, and 300 for the postan gate. We were able to win this, no problemo. Look at that. <laughs> That's the normal original AI from, from EA games, you know? The hard AI. Hard, <laughs> by the way. And that's hard, by the way, guys. Can you imagine the easy AI? They don't look what they are doing. So weak. So weak. Okay, two more farms. And then we're gonna actually save up for heroes. First of all, we're gonna recruit the new heroes like this one. What is this actually? Gan Burigan. Sounds kinda like a like a anime character. And we have also Hammer. You know this dude from the from the films. But I don't know the other guy. And then we can also recruit the uh, existing heroes like Theodin King, Ilma, Elvin, Gimli, and stuff like that. Is also Aragon here? Um, no, Aragon is also removed, actually. That's kind of interesting. I mean, what is this AI doing? I'm really wondering. I don't want to defeat him, because I want to actually fight against him for a little bit longer, as I would like to get the power points unlocked, you know? And also level up my heroes. I'm actually going to sacrifice my units for now. And I don't want to destroy his Lumber Meal to make him even, you know, more weak. You guys can creep this one eventually. And you can move forward like this, hug the ball, and go to this location. Okay, he used Warchant on the crossbow man, but you see the base is looking pretty empty. Very weak. So the first one is gonna be this dude. He is going to be the most expensive Rohan hero. 
I mean, cheaper than Legolas, but most expensive Rohan hero. I don't consider Legolas as a Rohan hero. Because, you know, Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas are actually kind of independent in the films. They are only recruitable from the Rohan faction, but it doesn't make them to Rohan heroes. Rohan heroes are Theodin King, Eoma, uh, you know, Eowyn, and uh, I would even say Merry, but not Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn. Okay. Oh, he was creeping too. All right. I want to actually contest the creeping. Just get this one. And now we will have this dude. Recruit Duradan leader to guide you through woods. My duty falls upon my people to survive this great war. Duradans will survive no matter the cost. And he will get on the field with level 3. Um, hmm. <laughs> he looks a little bit strange, not gonna lie. What is this dude actually? I don't even know what this dude is all about, dude. <laughs> he has like 0 abilities, has 1000 HP and 50 melee damage. I'm, I feel like I'm getting trolled here. Really hardcore. And no abilities. I mean, he looks like Gollum from the abilities all alone. He has like double axe in his hands. Doesn't look like a Middle Earth character at all. And I want to see, actually. I want to see if he can creep single-handedly the, the war clear. I mean, for 2,500 resources, I'm actually expecting him to do that. It would be kind of shame if he wouldn't be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we were able to creep this. It's pretty good. Let's hack the wall. And try to reach this location. Now we have <clears throat> this dude. Um, Door Warden of Meduselt. How many is Door Warden of Meduselt in his life? And by his life or death, he will protect the Golden Hall. Nearby buildings get 15% more armor passively. You can see them glowing like a Grand Harvest animation. Is he winning or what? Any Faramir's voice line, very creative. <laughs> Is he shooting? I think he's shooting them. Oh, yeah. A new updated Faramir. Dinato would be proud. <laughs> And he's level 0 too. What is this mod, my friend? What is this mod? Okay. Uh, I want to I wanna recruit every one of them. You know? This dude can, cannot even get mounted. I mean, sometimes I'm actually very curious about... I'm always excited when I get the notification, Hey, there is a new mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1. Because, let's be real here, Beef Me 1 is the one Beef Me game with the least mods. Actually, almost every single mod they are making are is almost exclusively for the rise of the witch king which is the most newest bfme game there is from 2006 um, but for bfme one bfme one is always like left behind you know what i'm saying and i was so happy then i see this then i see this boys yama looking pretty much the same theodin what is this dude okay that's a new thing hold on a second I mean, he looks like pretty much the same, but he has an ability. Corrupted King. Theoden is under a grim power by Saruman, and a puppet of him since. His mind may, may not be his own, but he is still he still inspires his people. 15% more damage and 5% more armor to nearby peasants. And in the meantime, the fake Faramir, Faramir the Mongol guy, is doing his thing. Theoden cannot even get mounted. I'm actually curious if Theodin gonna be able to get stronger when he creeps. Hold on. You, you, run for, you run for your life. You are too, uh, too low. Oh, oh, hold on a second. Aragorn is actually still here. But I think the problem was that Rohan had too many heroes and it wouldn't display us, you know? It wouldn't show us. I'm gonna pick up the heal from the spellbook just to make sure that my dude is not dying. Tyrion King. Corrupted King, but he's still the king. We need Gandalf to actually release him from the spell, just like in the films. He's level 2 now. I'm curious if he's gonna get updated when he's like level 3, 4, 5, 10. I have no clue. We're gonna figure out together. Okay. Let's see what the AI is doing. With Aragorn. Aragorn is pretty much the same hero. The same abilities. I want to also take a look into Eowyn, and then, give, I mean, I want to take a look into every single one of them. 
Okay. I mean, Aragorn can join them, right? Aragorn can heal them also with Atelas. I don't want to use my heal. Aragorn. I mean, the game's speed is so, is so slow, dude. Level 3? Very soon? Okay, he's level 3 now. I'm gonna just Atelas him. Okay. Almost back to full HP. That's how powerful this dude is. Eowyn next. Actually, I have an idea. Hold on. I want to I wanna deal with this first. And then I want to creep this and build like three statues at the outpost. For the reduction of the heroes. Because we need to still recruit uh, Gimli and Legolas. They cost in, in total 1500 You know, 5500 in total. Which is a lot of money. And the three statues are going to make them way cheaper. And I'm curious if we can get the normal theory. And what needs to be done to do that. Like the information is not given. We have no information what needs to be done to get Turin uncorrupted. Elvin, pretty much the same hero. No change. Let's take a look into Mary Poppins. He's recovering. That's good. But this is the most meme hero I've ever seen in my life. And we spent 2500 for this dude. Yes, he has like two axes, but he can shoot with arrows. I mean, if this is not iconic, I don't know what is. <laughs> Look, my Tyrion King is dying to works. You see the darkness, all you want. I can heal you, don't worry about it. I don't want to heal you though. Okay, level 4. You are still corrupted, my dude? I mean, this dude is pretty much the same too. Mary, no changes around Mary. Okay. Almost level 5 Tyrion. I mean, he has no glorious charge, nothing. He seems to be like a handicap in this game, other than being a sportive hero. I'm curious, I'm, I mean, he didn't change the model of the steering at all. Like, he looks pretty much the same. And my dude is getting invisible shooting. Crazy champion. Deals zero damage to buildings too. It's kind of buggy, buggy too. Hold on. What is this? Rohan, or the Denmark Rohirik, was a great kingdom of men located in the land once known as... Uh, Kelenadron, situ um, situated in the Great Vela Vale, sorry, between the Misty Mountains and the White Mountains. The land of Rohan extended from the banks of the River Eisen in the west, up to the east wall of Rohan and shores of the River Anduin in the east. Leader hero Theodin, bonus cavalry. Corrupted Theodin, corrupted Theodin is under a vile witchcraft. He can't gain shared experience or attack, but he can use all his abilities. And King Theodin, Theodin is ready to ride once more. He can attack and gain, gain shared experience, but requires to level up to access his powers. I mean, that's a lot of great news, but I don't know what it means, you know? I'm gonna build this, this, and also the steeple. And then we will recruit the two missing heroes. My dude uh, is shooting all the time, but he's dealing like no damage. <laughs> I... He's level 0, and it looks like he cannot gain, uh, gain any ex uh, levels. If Anduri's Sword now, for boosting Aragorn's damage. Okay, the same animation. Gimli next. I mean, to be honest, it's I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I believe these are also pretty much the same. The stable is looking pretty much the same. So... Um, Let's be real here. Besides this hero, like a fake Faramir, who can, who has like axes but shooting with arrows, and every time he shoots, he gets like invisible, has level zero and can't get any experience for 2500, and Hammer, who can boost nearby allied uh, structures with additional armor, and corrupted Theodin King, everything seems to be like in a normal game. Yeah, Legolas is looking pretty much the same. And also Gimli is looking pretty much the same. Hmm. Ah, looks like they can't even see him. Nobody's shooting him as you can see, right? Nobody's shooting him. Let's get this one as well. And even some asset files are missing as you can see. I mean, as you can't see, there is no Citadel. <laughs> I mean, it's there, but we cannot see it. I'm actually curious why we can't do this. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I'm gonna recruit some of them, just why not? And I'm gonna send my heroes to this location. 
Aragorn, this, 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 this dude. And even this dude can be sent to this location. Nobody can shoot my dude, by the way. Like, my dude seems to be, like, immortal. I mean, this Isengard is so weak, though. We have a level 5 peasant who's crashing literally everybody. Master the Rohirrim all you want, uh, Tyrion King, but you are weak. Oh, Legolas. Oak Strike is my friend. This AI is so weak, dude. I mean, you don't realize how it feels, the differential between this patch and the patch 2.22, until you get back and play a game on 1.06 version, you know? That's a huge differential, and I would never go back anymore. <laughs> I'm being honest. You know, when it comes to, you know, try out some new mods, I'm down, because the patch 2.2 is a relatively new patch, and most of the mods are still made and based on the patch 1.06, and hopefully that's gonna be also different in the future for the new upcoming mods. Uh, but other than that, for a casual gameplay, this is just too slow. Look at their movement speed, you know? Theorian King stands alone. Oh, there is Lords. Take them head on. Creep this, creep this, fast, fast, fast. I want to give the asset to Theodin. The problem is he cannot even get mounted. So I don't know if he can get out from this situation. I mean, we can. We can, we can now summon this Alvin Alliance. It looks so weird, though. Look at this picture. It's like a picture of all the power points in the game. I'm gonna heal them. We have pillage from Elma. That's pretty good. We have an army here around this side. We improve the archer range. We can get this and this. Get one more of that. Get fire arrows. Yeoman archers are pretty much the same too. I'm just gonna feed them. Should be able to win this fight, no problem. But they actually hard focus my theory in all the time. I want to send him maybe to the well. I don't know what needs to be done for him to get uncorrupted. Like, it says something in the Citadel, but I think it's not like information about what needs to be done for this dude. Maybe I need to lose him and revive him or something. I have like zero information. I want to I want to feed Lords. Fight Lords in a one-on-one theory. The movement speed is so low. Holy crap, I'm holy dude. Uh... Okay. He stopped shooting my theory for no reason. He shoot. Oh, he crippled him. And draw the sword. This, this guy is popping off. Oh, nice, lords. I'm proud of you. Okay, now the question is, what's going to happen if I revive him? Is he going to be still corrupted? I mean, guys, you let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, for me, that's like the most confusing mod I've ever played. I don't know if it's a meme, but it's like you can download this mod from the ModDB channel. It's like a legitimate download link. But I don't, I don't know if the developer is trolling us or if he's being serious about what he's doing actually in this in this <laughs> mod. I'm like, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. I'm really speechless. The AI, the AI feels, you know, obviously underwhelming. Very, very weak. Let's get some Elven Warriors too. We have now Rohirrim Archers. And yeah, Hammer feels very underwhelming. Like, cannot even get mounted. That's kind of shame. This hero is the biggest joke and meme I've ever seen in my life in any mod related to the Battle for Middle Earth games. Like, what is this champion all about? You know, like level zero, squishy, has two axes, looks like a Labyrinth worker pretty much, but can shoot and has the voice from Faramir who's screaming for Gondor all the time. Like, when this is not a meme, I don't know what it is, you know? Um, yeah, long story short, kind of kind of cringe a little bit, not gonna lie. The units are pretty much identical. The only difference I've seen is the picture of the Alvin Alliance, who's looking very weird. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, I mean, we have at least now Rohirrim archers. We can get Elma mounted to give him some experience. And that's the only experience or, you know, leadership I can get on my mobile units because Theoden King cannot get mounted. That's the problem. He's gonna be revived. I'm curious if he's gonna be changed now after being revived or not. We will find out. Legolas level 4. Elven warriors around this location. I mean, Legolas can also level up those units, by the way. And my man, Gan Burigan, is shooting all the time. Theoden is back in the business, but he's only level 5. And still, Theoden the Corrupted. Um, 
I have like no information what needs to be done, boys. Like I I'm telling you, legit, like legit no information. Hold on, I wanna level up those units. Just stay here. This will be a day to remember. I mean, I will not forget this day. Don't worry about it, Theodin King. It's a very interesting day, I need to say. Do I need to get him all the way to level 10? I mean, oh, Lourdes is here. Maybe I need to kill Lourdes with him. Maybe that's the way to break the curse or something. I don't know. We are kind of poor because we lost map control, actually. Just trample them. Nice. Where is, where is Lourdes? Okay. Oh, don't, don't, don't kill him. Don't kill him. I'm going to press S all the time. He's running for his life. Uh, good luck. I mean, as long as he keeps running, there is no chance in which my Tyrion can ever reach out to him. He's even field of fires now, by the way. Like, even Isengard that is invisible. <laughs> Lol. I hope my units are not going to shoot him. Kill him, Theodin. Nice. Theodin killed him. He's almost level 7, but it didn't do anything. It literally did, did nothing. Aragorn, kill those ballistas. And my goody goody gun. <laughs> my. He's shooting. He's shooting, guys. He's like a crazy range, too. I think he has even more range than Legolas does. It's kind of crazy. Where is Theodin? Oh, he's running it down, boys. He's gonna die 1v1 one one against Berserk, maybe? Keep this land safe. I mean, I can literally win this game if I want to. We have also purchased this one. Yeah, okay. Level 7. My man, Theodin King. What do I need to do to make you strong? I'm gonna actually take a look into the end. Maybe the ends are changed? Or is this like a mod they, he made like in 10 minutes? Because it has like more bugs than anything else. Saruman is trying to pop off here, but... Like, he used every ability at the same time. You didn't go kill him. Where is Theodin King? Go, go, Theodin King. Kill him. Destroy. Like, he has triple siege works. This dude is going crazy. He started very, very weak, and now he's popping off. Did we kill Saruman? No, I told you. Yeah, and I told you to kill Saruman, Theodin. I know you are corrupted, but you still gotta listen to me, buddy. Come on now. Okay, we need to make Naomi hit him now for the for the damage output against structures. I'm on the hunt. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna kill you with my Aragorn. I wanna kill you, finish you off with my Theodin King. Finish him, Theodin. Finish him. One more hit, Theodin. You can do it. Nice, Theodin. Dude, Theodin, I don't know what else to do for you. But you are still corrupted with like zero abilities. Mm, it's kind of it's kind of cringe a little bit. Not gonna lie. My ends are still alive, by the way. I didn't know. I didn't expect that one. Okay. If you don't know, my Legolas can keep leveling up those Rohirrim matches too. One of them is gonna be now level almost ten. Yes, sir. We are healing up over time. That's good. And now we have also Rohirrim warriors, the brief men from the Riddermark faction. Yeah, guys, I'm being honest with you. I have no clue what to tell you about this mod. This mod feels not like a great amount of investment of time. And it's not feeling... Uh, you know, maybe we can call this the worst mod. Which is the cr cringe and kind of unexpected. I wasn't expecting something like that. <laughs> Move together, man. Oh, do you want to siege me? Oh my goodness, look at this. He's going inside the jeans, boys. Okay, we want to have more Rohirrim, just like in the in the mission. Let's go for the Rohan mission. Destroy all evil forces. I'm afraid that the Isengard will just summon Balrog very soon on us, because I'm assuming you just get too many power points from losing all that stuff, you know? I'm gonna build like two towers, Lord of the Rings and the two towers just like on the spot. And we're gonna kill this, we need to kill this later. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Hmm. Okay, it's time to rock and roll. Um, this should be killed by the tower, no problemo. Okay, I think we are strong enough now to commit. I'm gonna also recruit some elven warriors, just why not? Maybe we can try to protect this outpost. We need to kill those ballistas, though. I think the best thing we can do is destroy the citadel and then destroy those two siege warriors. That's very important. But our Eoma shouldn't lead the fight. And nor the Rohirrim archers. The Rohirrim should be sent in for, you know, for, first because they can, they are more tanky in compared to Rohirrim archers. They can tank a little bit longer. Okay. Just trample, nice. Destroy the siege warriors. Let's summon this beautiful spellbook. Okay, we killed lords. That's good. Let's group all of them together. We can go for a massive heal right through them. And then we can heal them all at the same time, you know? Boom. Just like that. That's what I do. Okay. We lost the citadel? Where? Ah, here. Okay. I mean, I'm down losing things which I cannot even, which, which I cannot even see. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest with you. Maybe Theorin, maybe after killing this, it's gonna be something different. I have like, no, I, I'm still very confused. I mean, I don't know if we should call it the worst mod or the most confusing mod I've ever played. Spear throw him. Take this. I deals like no damage to, to this dude. Shoot him, Rohir Mach, do Rohir Macha damage is kinda legit, right? Holy quack, I'm molly. If also 10 power points in the bank, we can even go for the EOD, but we don't really need it. Is it still corrupted? I mean, yeah. I think it is just how it is. Maybe it's RNG. Maybe he will be corrupted all the time. But even though he's like, the, there is like information about it, right? I mean, it just tells us here, for example, King Theodin and Corrupted Theodin. I have like no clue what is what and why there are two. And how I can get the normal to him back on the field. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. But I guess we will not get the chance to know it. Okay, just finish up the game now. Get me out. Get me out from this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very confused. Uh, I'm speechless. And there is a ram trying to destroy us in the meantime. But Tower should be able to handle that situation. No problemo. And GG well played. You guys let me know what do you think about this mod. In the comment section down below. I think that's kind of... Um, like either a meme or the person who made it is out of his mind, one or the other. I mean, I've always appreciate the work they are implement, they are putting in to make this happen, to make this work. Because let's be real here, there is a lot of work implemented into mods like Shadow and Flame or or Edin mod, for example. They, you can see they have implemented so much new stuff, and I think that's the premise of an of a new mod. Do you see that it's like a why is there a mine? It's very crazy, dude. Crazy play by Isengard. He just put the mine next to the Vorklia for, you know, better these. Anyways, in other case, it's going to be the last remaining building, which is going to bring us to the victory situation. Uh, yeah, what I wanted to say is, like, normally I appreciate everyone who is putting in so much work and making this kind of mods possible, but I think the person who made this one was eventually drunk while he was doing it. Because not only there are new, no new factions by all means. And actually because I don't want to eventually make any new video, I want to see what is new to the Gondor faction. So we can just jump into the Gondor faction real quick and just, I don't want to finish off the game. I want to just take a look what is new in, the, in Gondor. So we have like no questions left after this video. Okay, there is Damrot and Pippin. The three heroes are pretty much the same, PowerPoint wise. Ah, okay. So they have actually ranges and instead of elves. But other than that, everything is looking pretty much the same. The buildings are also looking pretty much the same. The hero cost prices are also like the original one. Soldiers are looking pretty much the same. Um, hold on. Peregrine Took is even invisible. And there is a Faramir reskin a Domrod. Who is pretty much like Faramir. <laughs> Faramir reskin with a new picture. Tinder profile picture and not even a proper description missing control bar flame arrow come on now dude come on now <laughs> okay and just quickly jump into the Isengard faction 
I want to see what is new for Isengard. If there is anything new for Isengard, I have no clue. But we can figure it out together. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much the same, right, from Drohan. I don't know what this does. You can click on it, but nothing happens if you do. Prices are the same for Lords and Saruman. The buildings are the same, PowerPoint-wise. We have to change to nothing. Okay, pretty much the same like in the original. Nothing is new. It's so easy to make a mod and call it a mod, you know? When this is what a mod is all about. Let's go for the last faction, the Mordor faction. Okay. Nothing. Gollum, maybe a new hero. Like, that's pretty much a new hero from Rohan. With all these three abilities. <laughs> a hero with... I mean, I will never forget this. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life in any BFME regarding gameplay. Normally, BFME is like a passion project and people are investing a lot of time before releasing anything like that. And if... You can call it beta all you want, but if you release something, it has to be semi-finished. You know, you don't want to have like a 2500 hero who can get invisible, who has two axes but shoot with the voice of Faramir for Rohan and who's screaming for Gondor all the time. At least give him like Elmer voice, for example, you know what I'm saying. The buildings are pretty much the same. The PowerPoint, I mean, first of all, uh, the impression. My first impression, I normally don't say that, but it's very negative. In terms of my first impression, I think you shouldn't update this to the website, to the mod TV. And call it a mod when this is not even five person done with all these bugs and obvious mistakes like for example invisible uh, peeping or the flaming mis description of the ability from the new hero from the gun affection and the picture of the rohan elven alliance summon from the spell book lots of mistakes which can be easily avoided if you take a look in five minutes before updating it and uh, second thing is I believe a mod would be always visually attractive when you implement a bit graphical changes, like a new model, for example, for the Orc Warriors, or make the texture of the base a bit more eye-catching. But nothing like that has been done, I believe. I mean, I don't want to judge anything, but I've been involved into the patch 2.22 making, which was quite rough. But I believe this, what this mod is all about, could be done in literally less than an hour. I mean, and you have a bit of experience. And for that reason, recommended? Definitely not. <laughs> Disappointed? Hell yes. But I still hope that you guys found something funny about this mod. And you can let me know in the comment section down below. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.